Hey guys and welcome back. So today in this video we're going to talk about how you can actually configure HTTPS SSL on your Engine X web engine on any web page that you might have but uh, as my example I am going to be using the Zabbix frontend so let's actually get started. As I said we have a Zabbix frontend and uh, as you can see we can navigate to any page and uh, we will always see in the Chrome that the connection is not secure because by default we're simply using HTTP traffic. So our task for today is to make this not secure to actually secure and start using HTTPS. And to do that we're gonna need uh, first of all um, CLI which in my case is a CentOS 8 virtual machine. Uh, Nginx is already installed and configured so that's why we can access this web page. And I've also made some notes here for me in the notepad which you can just write down from the screen um, because it will be much easier and we will save some time on just uh, typing. So to get started first of all if we want to configure HTTPS it means that we also need to create and uh, use certificates. There are multiple options where you can get them so if you have uh, some company certificates you can just get them from your company. You can also use a let's encrypt service and uh, like in our case you can also create your own self-signed certificates and this is what we are actually going to be doing. So first of all let's create a directory where our certificates that we are gonna create will be stored. So make directory uh, minus p etsy ssl and a private. When directory is created we need to assign the proper permissions because it doesn't make any sense to actually use uh, certificates to make um, let's say our connection and our web engine more secure but uh, use like 777 permissions on our certificate files that's why we are assigning the proper uh, permissions on the directory that we just created at CSSL private. Then one task, we need to create the actual certificates and uh, I will just take a copy paste this line from my notepad which actually uses an OpenSSL utility to create a new .key file and a new CRT file uh, with an RSA 2048 and also defining just uh, default one subjects as a country, organization, location and other stuff. So just copy paste this in the CLI, click enter and we see generating new RSA private key, writing new private key to our location that we uh, just uh, defined in our command. So the next thing, again, don't forget about the permissions, right? Set the proper ownership and the permission to first of all CRT file that we just created and the second thing dot key file which we again just created and then the actual work starts on the configuration file so in my case with the Zabbix frontend I have a virtual host in the uh, Etsy nginx conf.d here I have a default PHP uh, FPM config file and also the Zabbix config file in which we have all the magic that we are listening on the port 80 which is a default server, server name, the root directory and all the other uh, parameters so basically when somebody is reaching out to the IP address of the server to the port 80 we are moving him to the user share.zabbix. So what we're gonna do now we are actually gonna move this zabbix.conf to same location same directory but just rename it to the zabbixssl.conf because we are gonna use this new configuration call configuration file zabbix ssl to actually support https ssl communication between our browser and this web engine so we need to edit it zabbix ssl.conf edit and we need to change a couple of things first of all listen we are not listening on port 80 anymore we're going to be listening on 443 and this is SSL which is still a default server for us. Server name remains the same. Then we need to define that SSL is actually on and just specify the locations where we created our CRT file and where we created our .key file. So just type SSL certificate and Etsy SSL certs and Zabbix.crt semicolon 
enter and SSL again certificate underscore key which is located in Etsy um, SSL private and Zabbix dot key like this so I can move this again one tab away just to make it prettier in our case okay so that's it that we need to do in this existing configuration file so we define that we are listening on the port 443 which is a HTTPS port and we define that SSL is turned on and we also define where do we have our certificate file and a dot key file so we can save this but right now like if we would restart our nginx we would be able to access our Zabbix frontend in this case through the port 443 through the https but at the same time we would still support the port 80. Uh, actually in this case we might not support it but users can access port 80 and it's not gonna work it will show that page is not running but uh, the best way that we could do we could still listen on this port 80 which somebody might be trying to connect and simply redirect all the traffic from http to the https and to do that what we need is create a new file which be just as abix.com as we have initially and inside it we need to define only a few things so server directive curly brackets we are listening on the port 80 and what we are doing when somebody is connecting to this port 80 we are returning 301 http code and redirecting him to https and host and request Yuri question mark semicolon and close the brackets that's it so that's all the magic we can close this right quit and now the only last stuff uh, that is left we should actually systemctl restart nginx hopefully we did not make any uh, typos in our configuration file and we did so what we can check is journal cdl minus xa uh, so what do we have here written down uh, invalid number of arguments in ssl certificate key uh, in the configuration file ssl certificate key let's check so ssl we defined it only in the zabbix ssl.conf so see we forgot uh, the semicolon in the end here so just add it here right quit and let's try to restart it again so maybe now it's gonna work uh, system ctl restart engine x it restarted successfully and what we can try now so we have our front end uh, which is still not secure but if i will refresh the page we can get uh, the default, uh, let's say, row message in this case because uh, it's not a trusted CA, it is a self-signed certificate. So this will always show up on a self-signed certificates. But we can just click advanced and proceed to this page. Retry, so we're most likely made some sort of... Oh no, wait, actually no is the problem. Uh, previously we had this... Uh, opened as HTTPS and uh, like this and then I just changed the HTTP but uh, you cannot normally do that because the URL will break the ending of the URL so uh, I will show it differently so HTTPS normal HTTPS to the web page works and the connection is uh, with the certificate despite it's invalid because it's a self sign and I can also use a simple default page with HTTP traffic like this and we're still getting to the HTTPS here right so everything works there's no mistake right now in the config files there are no typos everything is working and that's how you can configure your HTTPS